Hi, Dr. Rania. How are you? Oh, hi, Najma. Good, how are you? I'm amazing. Um, we've heard that you're working on lung cancer cells. So can you tell us the biggest myth about lung cancer research? Yes, actually, one of the biggest myths about lung cancer is that a lot of people think that lung cancer is a disease of the smokers, meaning that all people who smoke get lung cancer, which is not true. So 20% of the lung cancer cases they are occurring in people who are non-smokers. So what's the most surprising discovery that changed how we see lung cancer? Uh, yes, so one of the most uh, interesting findings that occurred, it was about 20 years ago when it was discovered that there are driver mutations for lung cancer. And these occurred in the epidermal growth factor receptor or EGFR. It was discovered that there are specific mutations that occurs in this receptor and that are population specific that then explained how certain patients uh, were able to respond to specific types of drugs and treatments. I see. So now a different question. If you could team up with any scientists to fight lung cancer, who would it be? Uh, yes, I think I would like to get uh, Darwin to, the, to 2025 because Darwin developed uh, the theory of evolution in the 1800s. And the idea of evolution is very important in cancer biology as well, because cancer cells, when they grow, they uh, are a heterogeneous population, which means that all the cells are not similar to each other. So mm -hmm. I'd be very interested to get an opinion of Darwin about the cancer evolution. Absolutely. And what's the biggest next hurdle that we need to overcome in lung cancer research? Uh, early detection is a very important concept, or it's a very important idea, because if we are able to detect cancer very early on, then we are able to treat it better and we can increase survival. And methods for early detection uh, include liquid biopsy, where you can take a blood sample from a patient and detect if there are uh, mutations in the DNA that's present in the blood. So these type of technologies really excite me and I can't, I'm looking forward to see what type of technologies will be developed based on these. Right. And Dr. Rania, last but not least, how close are we to a world where lung cancer is no longer linked to smoking? Well, as we know, smoking is a number one risk factor for lung cancer. So if we have uh, regulations in the government that will regulate the smoke uh, utilization, smoking utilization, this will definitely decrease the incidences of lung cancer. And so if we can discuss about cancer more frequently and make people more comfortable, about uh, the idea of lung cancer and be aware of it, then they will be, will be able to develop strategies to stop it and to treat it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Rania, for Thank your you. time. Thank Good you. Bye-bye. Bye.